All right, here's how I figured out how to fix an IS-250 wobbly side mirror. Comes off, wobbly. I've already fixed the other side, so hopefully this side will work. I only figured out three simple tools, rubber mallet, screwdriver, and I'm using a monkey wrench. It works. And a, and a ladder so I can step up and get some pressure down on it. Okay? The Vaseline, you'll understand in a minute, that's just to lubricate the mirror as it goes back in so it doesn't crack it. So here's what we do with the mirror. Push it all the way up, grab it from underneath, apply pressure gently on it, and prop it up real slow until it pops it out. There you go, see? Now you pull it down, pop it out, and it's off to the side. Just lay it down. Next thing you do, there's just four simple screws here. There's four simple screws. You've got to unscrew here. Now, I notice there's no posts out there whatsoever on this, and I don't know how long this fix will work, but it works. The simplest thing to do is get some double face tape, double sticky tape, clean this off at the bottom and the bottom of that, and stick some double face commercial tape on there and just stick it back in place. But that's only a temporary fix. It doesn't fix the real problem. It just gets you by until you can do that. And you can pick that up at any store, just some double face tape and some uh, alcohol to clean it off with before you do it. So I got four screws out. Now all I've got to do is separate these two air parts here, usually with your fingers, it comes right apart. Drop that down, comes off all the way, pull that out backwards, and drop it down. Now, here's the simple thing that's really happened here. All this is is a compression nut. And you notice the shaft on it looks like there's something missing. Like, oh, there's a piece that goes in there. And some guys have drilled a hole there and pushed it down, drilled a hole, and put it in. But really, all it is, if I can pull this back and show you, is the shaft is bigger a little bit farther down. So what's happened is this clip has popped up off of there. That's all has happened is this clip, this top cliff, has popped up. So all I'm going to do now, this is so quick of a fix, it's a little hard now, I'm going to get my ladder over here. I've got to apply some pressure around that clip and push it down on there to a point where it stays. And then I'm going to whack it with a rubber mallet and get it to go farther down. And so far the other side worked. Let's hope this side works too. Work it back and forth till it sticks. There it's stuck. Now we're going to take the rubber mallet and we're going to whack it a couple of times here. Ah, it popped up. Let's do it again. All right, I'm going to put more pressure on it get it to stay and go out a little bit more now hopefully before it whacks on me again I can hit it with a rubber mallet there it went see it's gone down and yet it still works the spring clip works I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to whack it again. And that's it. That's the fix. It's now in place. All I've got to do is put everything back together. It takes another couple minutes. There's the back. Here's the front. Got a small part of the mirror down below that you've got to, the light down below, courtesy light down below, you've got to kind of put back in place. You can put them back together.
Okay. Four screws. I'm going to speed this up. Put the four screws back in place, and then you want to lubricate these four spots. Just put some of the Vaseline around these four spots. And so when you put that mirror back up in there, you've got to lodge it back up in these two spots. The, the Vaseline will help push it in place. So you go down below, push hard at the bottom in two spots where you see those things. Should snap into place and your fix is done.